Hello all, here is another project that uh, I have, one of my ill-fated projects to start. I think I'll have good uh, a good opportunity to complete this one. I'll show you what I've got on my plate so far. That's a Walther's 10 or 12.44. I have a decoder installed in it and it's shorting so I have to find out what's going on with that. Uh, here's a true line CBNS caboose that had uh, crappy weathering painted on. I removed the majority of it, but as you can see, I now have a small uh, little detail brush uh, that I'll use to clean. As you can see, the steps and a few of the smaller detail parts that I couldn't get at. Here's an Atlas RS3. As you can see, I have installed some buck converters uh, which are part of the functions with, which activate DCC uncoupling. I'm going to adjust the uh, the buck converter for a little bit higher voltage to power the the motors to activate this uh, uncoupling. Um, <laughs> here's a Mantua uh, 060 that I bought online. I installed a decoder but it's having a real hard time, uh, whatever's going on. There's nothing wrong with the decoder, but I've decided I'm going to rewire the whole thing, take it apart, and just wire it up good. But this is the current project that I've been waiting for. Um, I really like these um, Proto 2000 Heritage uh, locomotives. Um, so I have the Canadian National 8400. It was missing a sand... It was weird because I just saw this online as well. 8400, the uh, 080, uh, and it was missing uh, a sand dome cap. This one did the same. I ended up picking up one for parts, and uh, I got it all perfectly working well. Uh, needless to say, the one online um, is $125. Uh, without the sand dome cap. When I bought this one, it didn't even have a box. So I ended up, when I bought the parts one, it came with the box. And uh, as you can see, it's $83.99, or whereas mine's $8,400. So, and I think I paid $100, maybe $125 for the locomotive plus shipping. I think it was $100 plus shipping. But I only paid like $25 bucks for the the broken down locomotive uh, for parts with the box. So anyway, uh, gone to my local hobby shop, and of course I like Ekonami. I have quite a few in my in my uh, diesel locomotives, but they had this one uh, for steam. It's a 21 pin, but man, they they couldn't sell it. So I offered to buy it, provided they could find me. An adapter from the 21 pin plug to uh, an 8 pin plug. Needless to say they didn't come through. They found the opposite. Uh, they needed the board. So I opted to just buy the decoder. I didn't get any discount or anything like that because they couldn't sell it. I wasn't, uh, I wasn't uh, too uh, interested in getting any sort of discount so I bought it for what it was basically. Uh, I'm, I feel from going to the store that they are having hard time so any little bit that I can do to help you know even if uh, I could get a small discount because it wasn't selling I wasn't interested in saving 10 bucks I thought that they could use it needless to say uh, I digress so what I had decided is I looked online and someone figured out the wiring for 21 pin decoder and without buying a an adapter board or or any specific adapter I went online and I found uh, 24 pin uh, as you can see they're they're those things they're like a, I don't know I can't remember what to call needless to say there's the number 1.2722 by 2 12 pin each side, so 24 pins. I don't need two, actually don't need three. So I'm gonna wire that up. 
and uh, install it. Okay, so as I was saying, um, I had a little interruption, I had to pause the video here. So the pins fit, the pin head fits into the socket, which is great. That's what's called pin head. <laughs> and I got it so when I bought them that the pins ran through the head and bent 90 degrees. So they're separate from one another. I'm going to determine what pin does what. Right rail is red, left rail is black, uh, motor orange and gray, functions uh, and blue and, and sound. And I'm going to solder to this side the 90 degree pins. I'm going to solder the correct wire coloring as per NMRA. And I'm going to make an adapter basically. I'm going to make an adapter. It goes from uh, the 21 pin to an 8 pin adapter. So then when this is all said and done, I can then just plug this into the decoder, plug the 8 pin into the tender, and uh, off we go. And of course wiring up the uh, the speaker as well to the uh, to the pin uh, head adapter. So yeah, um, as I go through this I will uh, uh, do a video on soldering it up and then I'll do probably another video for a quick install and test. Thank you very much.